week in Lent, so we thought we'd talk about some of the symbols you've been seeing or will be seeing. So, during the liturgy, the priest wears the color violet. We use it because it is a somber color for mourning, regret, suffering, and the desire to fast and do penance. We saw ashes on Ash Wednesday, which represent death and sorrow for sins. In the Old Testament, people would cover themselves with sackcloths and ask when they publicly admitted their sins to beg God's mercy. So where do you guys think ashes come from? Hmm. Um, palms? Yeah, you're pretty much right. So on Palm Sunday, we get these palms, and then the next year we bring them in, they get burned, and they use those ashes on Ash Wednesday. Another symbol is the fish. The fish symbolizes the obligation on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday, and to abstain from all fresh meat every Friday in Lent. The money bag is another symbol. In Lent, almsgiving is really important. Almsgiving means to give money to the poor and those in need. What are some ways you can participate in almsgiving? Um, we could put money in a collection basket. Yeah and donate to charity. Yeah, those are both really good ways to participate in homesgiving. You may or may not have seen little stones decorating your church. These stones represent when Jesus went out into the desert to pray and the devil tempted him. The stones are symbols of desolation, misery, severity, and sadness. The final symbol we'll be talking about today is the pretzel. Because fat eggs and milk were forbidden during Lent, they would make a dough of flour, salt, and water. They would shape it in the form of arms in prayer. In German, they are called pretzels, or as we know them, pretzels. Yay, pretzels! <laughs> <laughs> so those are some of the symbols that you see during Lent. Feel free to pass this information on to anyone who might be interested. We hope that you continue to have a prayer for Lent. Keep up those sacrifices! See you soon! Bye!